In terms of biology as a subject, if we're talking about the content itself, what did you find to be the hardest topic? Because I know there's like four modules. What did you find to be the hardest module or even subtopic uh, just to get your head around? Non-infectious diseases, module eight. The last module was definitely the one that kind of took me the most time to like get my head around, um, particularly with things like homeostasis. And I think we did, was it the ears, the eyes and the kidneys? Mm -hmm. those three kind of took a lot of time for me to like understand and memorize particularly the ear I remember like the whole anatomy of the ear the different kinds Uh. of implants that was the one that I kind of dedicated the most time to trying to get down and trying to memorize any particular insights that you now have on on those topics or other things for students who are trying to get through that now look cover right check (laughs) that's when it came in um Uh. definitely for like I remember the ears at least like flashcards in terms of discussing like the different kinds of implants the cochlear implant I think it was the conduction implant like those three um using flashcards and flow charts to kind of gain an understanding of the process in a chronological order trying to focus with those ones in particular on memorization and getting that down um yeah. so that when it comes to an exam and if you are examined on that like having that knowledge of it, having that knowledge of the process so that like maybe you have to write that down or like apply it, like getting that, just kind of getting that like ingrained and down and understood. Yeah, it's almost like a safety net sometimes as well. Like just just memorizing these definitions that even if you don't fully grasp it, at least gives you a base. And then, you know, over time you can kind of build on that or maybe the question kind of guides you on where you need to go with it, but at least you've got that platform and that way you're not, fretting from sentence one, it's like, okay, no, I've memorized some of these definitions because I found this really hard. So I'm going to start with those and then build off that. Yeah, absolutely. Like getting those definitions down, like getting as much as you can down from it, like Mm. as the question kind of allows you to do. And that's definitely where like definitions come in handy. If you find a question that is a little bit tough or is something that maybe you're like not as confident about, like Mm. at least having that definition down, it's a good starter. Yep. It, many times it like helps you kind of understand what the question is asking you and it gives you that time to kind of get into the nitty gritty of the question as well. Ooh.